Today I am sharing a story with you. This is the story of how Justin Rhodes started my YouTube channel. This story starts long be This story starts long before my YouTube channel started. This story begins with a Kickstarter and ends with a Kickstarter. Let me take you all the way back to October 6, 2015. I was a Suburbanite at the time, anxiously awaiting for the opportunity to get our homestead and start raising animals and using permaculture techniques. Justin Rhodes' first film project, Permaculture Chickens, had just been released to his Kickstarter backers. I happened to be one of his Kickstarter backers. On October 6, 2015, I received a Kickstarter update from Justin. As you know, the editing for the feature film is complete. In fact, the artwork for the DV was finalized today and will be manufactured very, very soon. Now, what I'm interested in is some help taking clips from the current film for promotional reasons. Simple edits, really. I'll need separate files of all individual chapters, 100 15 second clips for Instagram. I had some semi-professional experience in video production so I thought this would be an awesome opportunity to get involved in a really cool project. I immediately fired off an email to Justin telling him I was interested in the project, I would love to learn more about it, and I sent him some samples of previous work. Justin wound up hiring me for the job. I got to work immediately on it. I must have went through permaculture chickens 20 times. I did a bunch of editing for Justin's Instagram campaign that he launched to promote the Permaculture Chickens film. I did the editing for his landing pages as well as a few other things. The editing projects turned out really well. Justin liked the work I had done. Over the few months that followed the completion of the Permaculture Chicken stuff, Justin got me to do a few more projects for him. In this time we developed a really good working relationship. The following summer, Justin got in touch with me to help him edit his next big project, The 10 Hour Homestead. It was June of 2016, and we were almost done with putting together the 10 Hour Homestead project, but there were just a few things I needed a clarification on with organizing some of the videos. I sent Justin an email asking him if we could schedule time to talk to where we can iron out these details. Oh, the wonderful sounds Mr. Brown can do. He can sound like a cow. He can go... Mm. Good job, Mr. Brown. You can sound like horse feet. Justin. The beautiful one. Hello. Hey, you got an email from Dan. He wants to know if you can talk with him about the 10 hour homestead project. I'll give him a call as soon as I finish reading Mr. Brown his favorite book. Hello? Hey Dan, this is the apron wearing permaculture chicken ninja master. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, thanks. Hey, what I needed to talk to you about was the 10 hour homestead. I've uploaded the last few videos into the 10 hour homestead folder through Dropbox. Yeah, I got it. All that sounds good. We'll definitely make those changes and get them taken care of. But before you go, I just wanted to tell you congratulations on the success of your YouTube channel, man. It is flying. Yeah, the YouTube channel is going great. I really don't know why more people aren't doing this. In fact, Dan, you're a video guy. Why aren't you doing this? It's kind of funny you mentioned that. I've been kind of kicking around the idea of starting one. See, we're about to move on to our homestead in probably about three weeks. And I was thinking it would be a really neat opportunity to start documenting things right from the very beginning, showing our story starting from scratch. But I don't know, I have a lot of reservations about it. I'm a little nervous about the idea of doing it. Well, I'll tell you what, I've told this to a few other people and I'm gonna tell it to you. If you go ahead with the YouTube channel and post one video a day, every day for 30 days, I'll help get the ball rolling from you and give you a shout out on my email list. But you have to do it every day for 30 days. You cannot miss a day. If you miss a day, it's over. Wow, well that's a really cool offer and I would hate to pass the opportunity up. So let me talk to my wife about it. Let me see if she's cool with it and if she's going to be on board. Because if she's not going to be into it, it's definitely not going to happen. But let me talk with her and I'll get back to you. All right, that sounds good. Talk it over. Think about it for a little while and let me know. Okay, thanks, Justin. Bye. All right, bye. Hey, darling, guess what? What? I just got off the phone with Justin Rhodes, and he has made an interesting offer for us regarding the starting of a YouTube channel. Okay, tell me more about it. 
So what do you think? Well, I love it. I think it's a great opportunity and uh, I'm really excited. It'll be a lot of fun. This means, though, you need to be all in with me on this. This is not something I'll be doing on my own. This is going to involve all of us. Right. And even when maybe your hair doesn't look just right, you have to still be involved. Good. I'm looking forward to it. You're in? Yeah, I'm in. All right. Let's go. The first two videos on our channel that I uploaded to YouTube, the drip irrigation video and the buying lambs video, those are videos I had made that I wasn't sure if I was ever going to show anybody, but I uploaded them and set them to private and sent Justin the links to the video so he could see them and let me know what he thinks. After that, it was on. We officially accepted the 30-day challenge. I told Justin day one would be moving day, which was probably crazy. We probably should have started it on day two. That probably would have been better, but it was a challenge, but it was an awesome experience, and we made it through. And you guys are familiar with the story that transpired over the 180 days that followed? But if you remember earlier, I told you the story ends with a Kickstarter as well. As many of you know, Justin Rose is about to kick off his next big project, which is the Great American Farm Tour, where he and his family are going to live in a bus for a year, traveling all over the country, visiting really cool farms and homesteads. In addition to documenting their entire year on their YouTube channel, he is launching a Kickstarter to fund the production of a feature film documenting their entire year. We are really excited to announce to you guys that Justin and his family will be coming to the grass-fed homestead on the Great American Farm Tour, and he is featuring us in the documentary and the Kickstarter promotion. On Justin's Kickstarter page, you can find the grass-fed homestead on there alongside other huge names such as Joel Salatin, Diego Footer, Jack Spierko, and the Duke of Permaculture himself, Paul Wheaton. Among all these huge names, the grass-fed homestead. It is a huge honor and we're really excited to be a part of this and we are asking you to consider backing the Kickstarter. Please help fund this campaign. This is basically just pre-buying the film. I'm leaving a link in the video description. Go ahead and click on through where you can help support his project. In addition to being able to pre-purchase the documentary, there are also some other gifts available depending on your contribution level. So that is the story of how Justin Rhodes started my YouTube channel. We're really glad he did and we're so excited for him and his family to be coming here to the grass-fed homestead.